This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, and sent by God to your house to declare unto you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4 tells us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died by our sins. According to the scripture, he was buried. He rose again the third day. According to the scripture. Thank God. Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He said, anoint me to preach the gospel to the poor. Sent me to heal the broken heart, preach the deliverance to the captives, recover sight to the blind, set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. Amen. The word is not thee. Even in your heart and in your mouth is the word of faith which I preach. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. With the heart man believe and the righteousness with the mouth confession is made under salvation. I'm not ashamed the gospel of Christ is the power of God and salvation. For everyone who believes the Jew first and also to the Greek, there is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. I want to welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream, Roku, Apple TV, YouTube, and other devices. Kathy Davidson, co-host to my left, good morning. Good morning. Brian Bonner, co-host to my right, good morning. Good morning. We're going to deal uh, uh, songs we're able. After that, I'm going to talk about James Madison Davidson and the salvation of his family. He is my great grandfather. Amen. In 1911, he died of tetanus. Let's have the songs. Hallelujah. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants met there, how we do hinder. Our God has given us a victory. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants met there, how we do hinder. Our God has given us a victory. We are able to go up and take the country To possess the land from Jordan to the sea Oh, the giants never there, how we do hinder Our God has given us a victory We are able to go up and take the country To possess the land from Jordan to the sea Oh, the giants never there, how we do hinder Our God has given us a victory Sing, I will dance into the Lord. I will sing. 
Oh, 
Prison doors, it's a pact, it's free. There's a river of life coming out of me. Spring up all that. And in my soul, spring up all that. And make me whole. Change in the holy change 
Let the voice of my people rejoice. 
ancestors back to Virginia, Golden, uh, his son Joshua, and his son uh, James Madison Davidson. He happened to be my grandfather, great, great grandfather. Uh, Luther, Albert, happens to be my grandfather, Lyle Davidson, Lyle Luther, happens to be my father. He's Luther's son. But something in 11, 
1911 happened. But let's back up just a little. James Madison Davidson came to Jasper County, I believe, uh, maybe 1780, after the Civil War. We'll have all these in the transcription accurate. Understand, I have not seen any of this. It's been 10 years since I can read because of my eyesight. But I have been told a lot of this. Uh, Joshua Davidson, born in Virginia, I believe 1792, married a woman named Sharp Elizabeth, I think, ended up in Illinois, uh, Coopman County, perhaps, southeast of Springfield, southwest of Springfield, and their children were born. James Madison was one of Joshua's sons. I believe that James Madison was 10 when his father died. James Madison was a landowner in Illinois. He was a cattleman. And he had 10 children. I believe he had 13 and three of them died. I could be wrong. But he had 10 that were alive in 1911. The oldest one, Elmer. I never met Elmer. He died before I was born. The second was Calvin, and he died in 1931. I was born in 32. The rest of them, I met face to face, I believe, pretty sure I did. Jane Barbie Elmer was a salesman. Started out in Minneapolis. He was a fruit salesman. And his father, James Madison had 100 acres of strawberries at one time just on the west side of Sarcoxy. I've been on the farm. I used to drive by frequently, 240 acres, just about a mile, well, about two miles east of where I lived on a farm with my dad, mother, Dorothy, Betty, and Glenda. Amen. But in 1911, the Davidsons were Methodists. Some called them Northern Methodists, and some called them uh, M.E.s. Methodist Episcopal. I don't know the difference. But I was told by people involved, none of them believed much of anything. But they did follow after John Wesley's doctrine if they followed much. But in 1890, 
about was 92, a man named Benjamin Young, a Methodist got saved in Kansas. And his life changed a lot of people. My aunt and uncle, my oldest, dad's oldest sister, oldest brother, got involved. Amen. They were born in the 1890s. 1911, James Madison got tetanus. You can read about it. He died seven days. Grace of God was poured out on the Davidsons that day. That is a tough way to die. Seven days, it's all documented I believe on his obituary, John Boyd, the physician that all Davidsons knew, I heard of, and knew his assistant, Dr. Simmons. Um, but he checked him every day, was with him, I believe, when he died. So James Madison knew what was coming. He knew what was coming. I am convinced, KD, by the Spirit of God, that James Madison was saved. Born again, saved, during that seven days. What happened to the rest of the family kind of proves it. He had 10 children. Right. Elmer, a wealthy businessman, Des Moines, Iowa, with his brother, Calvin. They sold and manufactured. Uh, Candy. candy and ice cream. What? And ice cream. Candy and ice cream. Candy and what? Ice cream. Ice cream. And they sold fruit. Right. Wholesale fruit. Everybody probably wanted to know them. <laughs> yeah, little kids especially. But it's posted on the Circoxy page about them. They talks of a 50,000 square foot building that they worked out of, manufactured in. It talks of a million dollars in a year. million dollars worth of candy in 1911. Was that what it was? 1911, 1914. That's a lot of candy back then. <laughs> Amen. Because I remember some of those little candies back in that time, you could get three for a penny. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of pennies. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when you buy regular experiment gum. Yeah. For three cents a package. Yeah. Then it went to a nickel. But I remember buying gasoline. Regular gas, seven cents a gallon. Wow. You want to hear another one? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> yeah, that one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I recall milk cows produced milk, seven dollars each. Out of the cow would cost seven dollars. What? The cow would cost seven dollars. So over seven dollars. Wow. At a sale. I watched that through World War, the Depression, World War Two. 
at a 90, uh, 46, not 96, a man named Guy Reese, Sir Coxie, at a sale and sold a bunch of dairy cows, some of them were in the high 80s dollars. Oh. I saw it go from 7 to 80 as a boy. $80 per cow. Amen. $7 per cow. Amazing. Uh, back to the your great uncles that had that candy factory. You know what? Your, back to the great uncles that had the candy factory. Yes. And then they went bankrupt. He went bankrupt. Elmer, James Madison died in 11. Elmer, his oldest son, died in 14. I believe that's right. At age 48. I never knew him. But he had a will made out in 10, and it's posted, I believe, in Sir uh, They had, I believe, 20 salesmen. And I think a hundred employees. Right. You remember that? Right. The candy was sold all over the states around them, Iowa and the surrounding states. Seven, they had a very big business. Seven yes. or eight states. Right. Right. And it was called what? The Davidson Candy. Was it Davidson Confectionery? Confectionery. Right. Kansas. Right. Right. That pretty much was Cal's deal. But they were all very successful financially. I knew Ada met them, talked to them. They knew who I was. Uh, my granddad, a very successful road builder, Contracts in Rolla, Missouri, in 24, I think it was. And at 50 had the draft horses. Might have been 22. Draft horses. One day he said, we're going to go home. And they drove horses from Rolla to Sarcoxy. Do you remember what year that was? That was 24. That was 24 when they came home? Yep, I believe that's right. And that's when they built Redwood Church. Right. It is interesting that James Madison Davidson died in 11, 1911. Yes. Then um, the Holiness Church began in a schoolhouse like in 12. In 12, Redwood School. Right. That's where it started. That's where I went, 6, 7, and 8. Right. And, I mean, that's when, that's when that family were being born again. The Lord has convinced me that every one of them were born again. Amen. All of them. Well, you know that when you think about James Madison's death, everybody got a chance to look at their mortality. Oh, my. I mean, everybody knew their grandfather was going to die in seven days. There was no question. Yeah. And, I mean, we grew up even hearing in, in my generation about the people that died of lockjaw in, in Pennsylvania, and that's what tetanus that's is. Yeah. And it, it was a feared disease because there was, there was no hope. If you got it, you're dead in seven days. Right. And so his family watched, watched. Their dad died in seven days. I can imagine they were born again. Everybody had to look at their mortality. Everybody had to consider their eternity. And, and, and then right after that, here comes the Holiness Church. 
all of those terms. Right. But let me tell you something. There was Luther, my grandfather. Right. He had seven children. Right. Four boys, three girls. Every one of them were saved. Amen. Floyd had four boys. I believe every one of them were saved and their wives. Amen. Uh, Ethel had four children, two girls, two boys. I know every one of them were saved. Amen. And their husbands and wives. Amen. Uh, Lyle, four children, me and three girls. I know every one of us are born again, saved. Dorothy's in heaven. Carl, one son, Arthur, you met him. Right. He's in heaven. He was born again. Yeah. Amen. You know, what did, what did Paul or Peter say when he came into the house? He said, thy and thy house will be saved. Right. All thy house. And obviously that's what happened with the Davidsons. That's what happened. Yeah. Aunt Neva had a daughter and an adopted daughter. They were both saved. Amen. As far as I know, every Davidson from James Madison down to the day, all saved. Amen. We've got some. They're not, they're Davidsons, but not named Davidson. Right. But from that group. I believe every one of them are saved. I was sharing with you that this morning that when I was reading in First Chronicles, the first eight, nine chapters talk about families. And, and the writer of Chronicles thought it was important to list, okay, this family had this child, this child, this child, this child, then this child had this child. I mean, the families were important. And, and the one that stuck out to me was Asaph's family. Asaph was a, a worshiper in the temple when Solomon built it. And his family, they all stayed in that business, if you want to call it business, that calling. They were all stayed and they all worshiped. God. I mean, God had a, a place for them. And that's what I see with the Davidsons. There was a place for them, and they were all born again. There are some Broadways. Amen. That I know are alive. They're Davidsons and Ethel's children. There's uh, some da Jackie Davidson, nine months older than me, still alive and his family, and I'm sure every one of them are saved. Amen. Uh, it's incredible. That, that was something we grew up, you've got to be saved sometime. Right. Some of us were not in such a hurry. <laughs> Some of us had a few things. We want to do like pursue education. Uh, you know, like your, like your dad has shared. You know, he was 17 having his fun, and then God showed him hell three times, and he said, I wasn't saved. I was converted. Listen, dad scared me many days. How he said God took him when he was 17 and showed him hell three times. Amen. He saw people in it that he knew. Dad said he was converted. He wasn't saved. And you know, that's part of the grace that was on that family. Huh? That was part of the grace that was on that family. That, that God took your dad and showed him hell. Listen, it scared all of us. Amen. All of us. You know, Dad, all the days I can remember, 
as a young lad. Doyle, you've got to preach the gospel. Doyle, you must preach the gospel. I think, why don't you be quiet? I want to be a landowner, a cattle baron. So now you just got a bunch of sheep. <laughs> You're right. God let me have two farms, one 50 acres in Texas and 143 in Sarcoxy, southeast of Sarcoxy. Then made me sell everything. I had 35 cows on the Sarcoxy property. I had 13 horses, five American saddlebred mares, and one running quarter horse, and their offspring, running quarter horse mare, and two running quarter horse from her. One of them was a pretty good runner. I ran him once, twice, and you know, playing. I had my toys, race horses, amazing. But I had I had the blessing from God to raise a, a American saddlebred wheeling stallion class, wheeling class second place. Two years later, in Lexington, Kentucky, the horse that beat him in Dallas at the fair was second. And Hale to Genius won it. Championship. It was amazing. A man came to me once and said, how lucky could you be? People bred horses 40 years and never got a champion. But I've got pictures of Hale to Genius. He won 12 or 14 championships. Do you remember that? That's 12, right. Yeah. So God let me have that and said goodbye. Yeah. One day I was in the barbershop and you were with me talking to a pilot from Kentucky and he was a brand new pilot. He said, I've been looking at your uh, website, and you were up there with him, weren't you? I said, yep, I was then, but I'm not now. God took everything that I had. Today, I don't own a house, gave it to the ministry. I don't own a car, gave it to the ministry. Have a Tahoe, gave it to the ministry, got a bicycle with flat tires. <laughs> what time is it? It is 11.59. Huh. Well, you got anything to say? Ryan, you got anything to say? No, sir. Well, let me tell you, I thank God for the Davidsons. Amen. Amen. I'm eternally uh, grateful to James Madison's death and conversion. Amen. Amen. A wealthy farmer. Amen. Amen. You think we ought to end this with satisfied? Sure. Sure. Let's do it. Amen. Amen.
was just thinking about dad's children, myself. There's four boys yeah. born again. The Jacksons, three sons, three wives, all born again. The Shanes, all of them born again. Amen. The Mitchells, all of them born again. Amen. I'm going to add all these up. I am. Amen. Amen. With the names. That's going to be a project of yours and mine. <laughs> You're right. I'll, I'll be glad to do it. Yeah. You let me see and watch me. Amen. I thank God for what we just did. I thank God I'm a Davidson. I thank God Amen. they were born again. Amen. Amen. And they told me about Jesus. Amen. 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 And they told me, Amen. you will have to preach the gospel. Amen. Thank God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I don't know if that was a prophet, but he had faith that I'd preach the gospel. Amen. 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 All right. God bless you. See you next time. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.